So let's go to the kids' corner. You're probably wondering, what in the world is this guy doing? Well, first of all, these paints, made in America. Uh, so I uh, have a little bit of a style in teaching. It's a little bit chaotic, but I think it makes it more fun for kids, and kids need need to go a little nuts here. And yeah, we gotta roll up the sleeves for this sucker because this is, we ain't gonna be playing around over here. So I saw, um, uh, you know, I like to do in, in the education work that I do, I like to make it very timely um, and apply as, as many, you know, different kinds of learning styles, but also as many different kinds of subjects into one. Um, so if you think about the situation that we're in now, kids are, you know, they know their home, they know what's going on, uh, and we need to, to trust them in a lot of ways to, to, to understand. And I mean, it's a teaching, it's a teaching moment for all of us to see. Um, so yeah, I would say, um, you know, this is a really great time to talk to kids about history, to talk to kids about uh, public health, about the role of government, um, and all of these different things. And one of these activities that I saw someone do um, on, uh, it might have been on YouTube or on, um, I don't know, somewhere, maybe Twitter or something, uh, is a way to teach people how to wash their hands. And uh, uh, using paint, which I thought was a really cool way to do it. So uh, this is washable paint. Um, so, you know, will hopefully come off at some point. But uh, a really great way to do this is to show kids um, you know, when we normally wash our hands for two seconds or something, uh, what we miss. Uh, what's really great about uh, washing your hands and soap and all that other stuff is that the way that this virus uh, is, um, it's very susceptible to soap. So the more that we're washing our hands and making sure that we're doing that uh, the right way and keeping ourselves clean, uh, the better off we're really going to be in stopping the spread of this thing. So, um, Here's what I'm going to do. I put a little bit of paint, a lot of bit of paint, in my hand. Uh, this is purple. Uh, for those of you who uh, love my furry friend, Mr. Toby, it's his favorite color, so that's why I'm choosing it. And uh, you put some in your hand, okay? So this is like, you know, it's soap and water and everything else. Um, and so what do we do when we first wash our hands? We go like this, and then we're done, right? Okay, well, look at all of the space that I've missed on here. You can see like on the fingertips, there's no, there's no paint at all. You can see on the thumbs, there's nothing. Uh, you can see that, look, all this area in between and then uh, the backs of our hands, kids. We've got to wash those too. All right, so we've got our hands. Now we're going for a little bit longer. We're seeing what we can do. Uh, now I've got some of my thumbs. Wow, look at that. But there's still some space that's missing, right? So I'm going to the back of my hand going to the other one. And so you're playing, you know, you give kids a lot of control over how they're doing. They can experiment to see like what does the best. And now we're in the back of our hands, right? So I'm going to put some more paint on because more paint's always better, right? And the darker it is, the better it's going to show. Uh, and that's why I've got the butcher paper down here. But you can see like once I've got the backs of my hands covered, there's some space right here in between the fingers that's still open. Uh, and you've got on the inside of your thumb that's not covered. Um, and on some of my wrists, because I spilled it, you can see, but look, outside of my thumb here, um, sometimes one of the areas too that doesn't get covered, and I guess I naturally do this, is on the outside of your hand by your pinky as well. So, you know, I mean, when you're doing this with the paint, uh, you can uh, certainly see all that and see what the different patterns are. It can be fun to do with uh, your family and see what people naturally do. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is, this is a really great activity, I think, to show kids um, really the proper way to wash your hands, to make sure that you're getting your thumbs, you're getting your wrists and all the areas around it, uh, and you're turning into your favorite color. Uh, remember, uh, when you're done with all this, it's very important to also wash underneath your fingernails too. Uh, and one way to do that is just to go around. And when you do that with paint, you'll actually feel uh, some of the paint like getting under your fingernails too. So when you're done with this, you're going to have to actually wash the real way. So this is like practice for what you're going to have to do at the end. Um, yeah, but this is, uh, this is a fun way to do it, a uh, fun way to learn uh, about public health, washing your hands and everything else. So yes. Here is the challenge for you. Uh, so for this week, you can win a prize uh, from the campaign, uh, a bumper sticker for, for the best uh, 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 one who comes, well, the best subjectively at least, the best idea for a lesson plan for kids to do at home. 
some fun activity. I prefer the fun ones. I'll be the judge on this one. Uh, fun activity that teaches kids uh, something great. Your choosing, your subject, whatever you want it to be. And uh, next week, I will announce the winner. And uh, we can spread all of the different ones that you post. The way that you can post, you can go on Facebook. You can go on Twitter. If you're on Instagram, whatever you want to use, email me. I'll put my contact up there too. Uh, but send me your lesson plans. We'll share it with the world. And folks will be able to take all of these ideas and apply it to their kids. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get to do one. And maybe we'll even get you to be a special guest and teach it to us uh, via remote whatever the heck we do. Uh, well, folks, I really appreciate you being here. Please feel free to reach out. If you ever need any help, let me know. Take care.